Yo guys, welcome back to another video where I'm doing a two minute Thursday when actually in reality they're not actually just only two minutes. So yeah, today's topic is about how many hours of practice you need every day on soccer. So yeah, let's get started. <laughs> Boom. Okay, so I'm gonna just start. I'm gonna I'm gonna explain. So, how many hours do you need on training? I, I often hear that question. Not on my channel, but on other channels. So I want to answer it for other people that are watching other people's channels. So yeah. <laughs> but anyway, so it's pretty much like like people ask. I mean, like, well, if I practice two hours every day, will I become a professional soccer player? Okay, listen here, hun. I'm not gonna call you hun. That's a bit uh, weird. But it would. You don't need two hours of soccer to become a professional. You need to know what, how much you can put in and how much, like it's better to do more, but to doing more and more is bad, if that makes sense. So like doing like five hours of soccer every day, that's quite bad. It's not gonna be as effective as doing two hours of intense training or even one hour of intense training. It also depends on how intense your trainings are. If you were to do a chill, casual day training for five hours, you're not really gonna improve as long as the other guy who's training for one at Tense hour, you know. I like. I might go more in depth about a dense, and dent, and dent, and dense, intense. Yeah, dense training. But this is about like how many hours of soccer you need per day. But there's really no set numbers. There's no real answers. Like I could be training for one hour, and this and this other dude has been training for two hours, and I'm still better than him, and I'm getting more effective. Cause it all depends. Mainly it depends on your intense, how intense your training is. But also, like, don't be focused on numbers. I mean, I, like, I use numbers for my training. Like, I practice two hours a day. Right now, I'm doing, I'm practicing one hour since I'm indoor. But like, I use that number to set myself of how long I can, like, how many hours can I do soccer? Like, I, I could do three hours, but now I would sacrifice my time for working out. So yeah, you have to also work. You have to also, it's like, you also need to work out. That's also a factor if you're like getting older on that stuff. It's better to start working out earlier than later at the age of 16 don't say do like some calcetics in the beginning if you're younger and you're planning to go to the gym and all that stuff so at any time like you need working out but it's not my video not about about adding in that can help you improve your own soccer game but like it's just about like how many hours of soccer you need there's no real answer to that pretty much just do what's best for you how much, like it depends on factors are how much time can you put in? Not more than five hours. Five hours is a lot. Too much you should do. So like two hours, yeah, that's pretty good. And you, you like, you don't need like. Doesn't mean like if you train, like don't believe that one stupid rule thing. I was believing that for like one day. I was like, train ten. You have to train at least ten thousand hours for your lifetime or whatever. That's not true. You don't. You don't need that. Don't focus on hours. Focus on your quality over quantity. Well, you also need quantity, but like, it's more important about your quality of training. That's that's the main purpose to be get better, or that's how you get better in soccer. It's not about how many hours of soccer you like you train. You, you, you don't try to be the cool dude saying like, yeah, I train ten hours of soccer every day. My uh, shooting performance is like a twenty-one in FIFA rating. My passing is a bit a bit better, twenty-two overall and my overall rating is a uh, two so don't be that guy training for 10 hours and thinking you're gonna become a professional soccer player by training 10 hours every day oh my gosh you're gonna kill yourself instead gosh dang 70 hours of soccer per day per week i would love to do that but you know our bodies just can't do that and you're not gonna it's bad like if you're if you're like destroying your body there's another thing yes there's, if some dude is training, if two people are doing, imagine this, one person does intense training for one hour and another person does as well the same intensity for two hours. Yes, he, the two hour guy is gonna get more, he's gonna, he's gonna get better than the other dude, assuming, possibly. But like, if you're doing intense training for five hours, I don't know how your body's gonna handle that, but your body's definitely gonna get destroyed. <laughs> It's not gonna recover the next day that quick. Our bodies aren't like Superman that can heal up that fast. We need to recover and all that stuff. So like, also listen to your body of how many hours of 
training can do. If you get tired like real quick and you can't recover the next day with two hours and do one hour and 30 minutes, if, but if you have to still cut that back to one hour, then do one hour because it's better than doing nothing and at that long term you injure yourself. It's better to like, I mean, I guess you can somehow train your body to do two hours of soccer training. I'm assuming you can do that. I think that's possible. But like start off with 30 minutes. If you're a beginner, start off with 30 minutes of soccer training. Build your way up to 60 to uh, uh, what's that? 90 minutes. I don't know. I was thinking them, but and then 120 minutes which is two hours. So yeah, just build yourself way up uh, up there. Cause like if you just like that's also another advice. Like don't like if you're a beginner or like coming back from soccer training, don't just come back off with two hours of soccer training. Start off slow, like one hour if you're not really a beginner. And oh my gosh, what my phone? Oh my gosh, what the heck? But anyway, don't. Don't start back up with two hours of soccer training. Start off with one hour and then build your way up like that. One hour, 30 minutes for the next day and then two hours for the next next day. That's how it works. If you're a beginner, just start off with 15 minutes, 30 minutes, 45 minutes, 60 minutes. Trust me, don't rush it unless you think you're ready to rush it. Unlike me, I was stupid. I did four hours of soccer training every day when I was a beginner. And it was during the summer when I was in sixth grade, I think. Yeah, sixth grade. And I guess I approved. But I was training dumb. I still improved, but I will have trained. I will improved way better if I train smarter and I do four hours of soccer training. It was a, it was somewhat tense training. Not all of it was tense, since it was four hours. So your body like, it's gonna definitely get tired after two hours for sure. All right, this isn't just my experience. You might disagree, disagree, not disagree. But if you disagree, just comment down what I got wrong, what you believe is wrong. And just say like give advice in the comment section what you think is good some of good advice so yeah but I think I got everything down but anyway if you if this got if you find this helpful then don't forget to leave a like in this video and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel that would mean a lot to me you probably if you watch this video and you enjoy learning about soccer and all that stuff then you're probably gonna enjoy my overall content because it's mainly about soccer long it's more than two minute thursday video but anyway i'm done with my two minute th thursday video i come back with you guys next thursday for another helpful advice well tuesday i'm also doing helpful advice but anyway see you guys have a good day see you then Girl, for my own good i won't leak the album i let it spill number one bitch i bet it well do the numbers i said it well i played the game and i'm still the same and i never changed it to get a deal but i'm balling, balling. i came from nothing to something like it's nothing yeah you know i done it now